Hello. In the last two videos, I created um, two things. I created some coins, um, which every time the player collects a coin, it adds one to the player's score, as well as creating enemies. And every time an enemy collides with the player, one is subtracted from the number of um, player lives. So just to show what we have so far, we have coins which can be collected and it adds one to the score and then every time the player collides with an enemy the player position resets and what I'm going to do in this video is to add um, a player information display or a player heads up display which displays uh, the number of coins or the score and the number of lives. So first of all I think I'm going to do the coins um, or the score, sorry, and um, I'm just going to display some text in the top left of the screen that shows um, the word score and then the player's score, which is the number of coins collected. And I'm going to do that by um, adding some text. So um, text in adding text in Pygame isn't the most straightforward thing. Um, there's a few steps before you can display text. Uh, the first one is to create um, a font. So I'm going to write font equals pygame dot font dot font. Uh, this is all in the documentation, which I won't share um, because you can just follow these steps. But um, the pygame documentation does tell you um, how to do this. So um, you put the name of a font um, in here. So I'm going to use Free Sans Bold, which is an open source font that comes with Pygame. And then you can just tell it what font size you want. So I'm going to use font size um, 24. And you might find a, that you have a problem if you happen to not have this font installed. Um, so you can you can add this code if you want to. If you do find that you have any problems, um, or even if you just want to um, avoid possible problems, um, it might be better to write pygame dot font dot get default font, which I think is the same font, but it just means that another font will be chosen if um, if that's the default font. Um, so it just avoids a an error. A potential error here. Um, so we've got the font, um, font size 24, and then in the game loop uh, where we do the drawing, after I've done the background drawing but before I draw the platforms, so I'm going to have the display um, on top of everything else. Sorry, if it's on top of everything else it means I'll draw it last. So I'll draw the display last after everything else. So this is the display uh, player information display. So I want to draw the um, score and the number of lives. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, some text to draw. So I'm going to call that score text And I'm going to say um, font.render. And then we want the text to render in here. So we just want to write score plus the actual player's score. And I'll put a gap, put a space between the word score and the player's score. Um, the next thing you need to do is to say whether you want anti-aliasing, which is just... Um, basically whether you want Pygame to smooth out the edges of the font. I'm just going to write true. And then you want um, a foreground colour, so the colour for the text. Um, I'm not going to worry about choosing different colours, so I know that I've got mustard as a colour, so I'll choose that. And then the background, I'm going to choose dark grey because that's just the background um, of the, the, background of the, the screen. 
So I've got the score text. The next thing I need to do is to um, get the rectangle because you um, you draw the text to a rectangle. So I'm going to say score text rectangle. And that's going to be um, score text dot get rectangle. And then I'm going to uh, blitz or draw the score text to the score text rectangle. So it's not the most intuitive thing to draw text to the screen in Pi game. Um, but I think that's everything that you need. So I'm going to save that, my code. And I've got an error. So it says it can't concatenate. So concatenate just means join. It can't join this word score, which is a string or text, with this variable score, which is an integer or a whole number. So if I do str, it just converts that score, so that number score, into some text. And then it can add two bits of text together here. And the reason you can't see the text is because I need to present the screen at the end after we've added the score and the lives. So I just added that code to the wrong place. So just to make sure that um, pygame.display.flip is the last thing um, in your game loop, or at least after you've done all the drawing. So let's try that again. There we go. So it says score zero. Now we've got score one and I can't seem to make it over there anyway. Um, so the score's working. The score's displayed in the top left hand corner and you might decide you want to display the score somewhere else. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. You could do score text rectangle dot x equals 50 and y is 50 or something like that and that should draw it a bit further down. Um, the other thing you can do as a shortcut is you can just say score text rectangle dot top left is equal to um, let's say 10 10. So you're just setting the top left with x and y coordinates so it just saves a line of code. So we've got the score drawn um, in the top left, but with a little bit of a border. So that's the score drawn. And I could do the same thing here for the lives. I could just create some more text and say lives equals three. But I'm going to do something slightly different, I think, which is to um, display um, an image once for each live. So when the player has, say, three lives, I'm going to draw three um, hearts, I think. If the player has two lives, I'm going to draw two hearts. And I'm going to I'm going to represent the lives in that way, um, rather than just writing the text. So, uh, as usual, I've gone to open game art, and I've found a pixelated, a pixel heart image, um, heart.png. Um, which I've already saved in my um, platformer images folder. So I've got this heart image here, heart.png. And it's 48 by 48 pixels, which I think is probably um, about the right size. So I'll add this link to the description. But also, as with every other image that I've used, I'm going to credit the person that created this. So I'm going to write heart 
sprite by and then add the name and then put the URL there and the author is here. Okay, so I've found um, the image. I've added it to my images folder and I've credited the person who created the image. Um, where I've got um, lives, I'm just going to add um, heart image is equal to and then just copy and paste this code but change the name to heart.png so I've got this heart image here and after I've drawn the score as part of the player information display I'm going to draw the lives and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loop through the number of lives. So if there's three lives, I'm going to loop three times. If there's two lives, I'm going to loop twice. So I'm going to say for L in the number of lives. Um, so to get the number of lives, um, I want to do range lives. So this should loop for the right amount of times, depending on how many lives there are. And what I want to do is just to uh, draw to the screen the heart image and for now let's just draw it to um, 210. So what this is going to do is draw, um, let's have a look actually, it's going to draw the heart image just here but it's drawing it each time in the same position. So if we've got three lives, it's drawing the same heart image on top of itself three times. So it just looks like one heart still. So first of all, let me just change, put this to zero, just to see if I can get it to line up. There we go, that looks a bit better. And then to draw each heart one after the other, I think what I'm gonna do is to draw it, so the, the Y position is always gonna be zero, each time, but the X position is going to be 200 plus, um, and then because this variable L is going to be, let's say we've got three lives, it's going to be 0, 1, and 2, I can do the number L, number L times 50. So it will draw the first life, or the first heart, because L is 0. It's going to draw it at 200 plus 0, because L is 0, and 0 times 50 is 0. So it will draw it at 200, 0. The next value in the loop, L will be 1, so it will draw it 200 plus 1 times 50, so it will be 250. So it's going to draw each heart 50 pixels to the left, uh, to the right from the one before, so it will draw it at 200. 250 and 300 if the player has three lives. So let's try that out. There you go. So we've got the three players' lives. And then if I collide with an enemy, you can see that the lives goes down to two, one, and then zero. And um, I think in the next video, I'm going to add... Um, some different game states so enable the the player to win or to lose um, to say that the player wins maybe if the score gets to two if they manage to collect all the coins and that the game's over if the player runs out of lives so if the player collides with an enemy three times and the lives get to zero